Hey you guys, Zaryu here, and today we have a lot to talk about. Yesterday, Blizzard announced the single-handedly biggest PvP change potentially in World of Warcraft history. Blizzard is dropping the CC across the board for almost all classes by close to 15 or 20% baseline they are also removing the 15 percent cc reduction from the game some classes are going to be hit harder and some classes maybe not so much let's take a closer look gladiators distinction will no longer provide 10 percent cc reduction and seasons profession items will no longer grant five percent cc reduction so when i first read this i was like oh great this is awesome we're going to have more CC comps return and come back. But as we keep reading, a lot of these changes and more are now going to be baseline. Skull Bash, three seconds instead of four. Counter Spell, five instead of six. Spear Hand Strike, four instead of three. Every Kick, every CC. Death Knight, Asphyxiation, Fell Eruption, Entangling Roots, Hibernation, Mass Entanglement, Ursals, Polymorph, Kidney Shot blind now on the surface this might look like a good change less cc in the game i can play my character more that seems very exciting i want to take some time today to chat why that might not necessarily be the case so i first want to start with the idea that there is such thing as too much CC, and there is such thing as too little CC. And to just briefly talk about that, we can draw a little chart, right? If every CC lasted 20 seconds, I think we can all agree, 100% of us could agree that that is way too much CC, right? If a polymorph lasted 20 seconds, I mean, come on, right? That is just too long. I don't think a single player in the game would think kidney shot should be 20 seconds. All right, so that is too much, okay? Now, zero seconds CC. Once again, I think everyone can agree if there was no kicks, no stuns, no sheeps, no fears, no cyclones, that zero seconds would not be enough, right? Because at that point, it would just be like, who does more damage? To get a kill to take someone from 100% life to zero, you'd have to just do more damage than the healing they receive. It would literally be like hitting a target dummy, right? And CC chains is what brings in that that like excitement of, okay, I have a hammer of justice. Let me see if I can kill him or force a trinket before um, his teammates can peel or something like that. Zero, not enough CC. 20, too much. The discussion then becomes, what is the proper amount of CC, right? What is the proper amount of CC? Well, currently we have Polymorph at 8 seconds, Cyclone at 6 seconds, Fear at 6 seconds, Kidney at 6 seconds, right? Having said that, so this is like Polymorph here, this is like Cyclone, this is like Fear. Having said that, Gladiator's Distinction reduces CC by 15%. That was just added in the new expansion, Dragonflight. So Polymorph is really only 6.8 seconds. Cyclone is really only 5.1 seconds, right? And we saw that really change how players play the game. Before I go deeper, I just want to quickly kind of define some things in the game. We generally see a couple different styles of popular compositions in World of Warcraft history. We have setup style comps, and of course, that's like the RMP, the Thug Cleave. And the goal here is to cross CC, burst, and kill your enemy, right? And then run away and then do it again. You have dampener style comps where we're trying to kill everything at once, but play very efficiently, keep the mana up, trade defensively well, and outlast your opponents until they all kind of die at the same time, right? 
and we have cleave style comps like turbo or tsg and your 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 objective here is to train one to two targets down max dps and trade very well defensively because you don't have a lot of cc to survive you have to trade defensively perfectly to actually survive long enough to net that kill and then we have hybrid comps which is like a com a combo of you know one two or three and this might be something like Shadow Priest Rogue that's like a half setup style comp and a half dampener style comp where you can go for set CC, but you can also try to dampen out. Or Shadow Priest Mage might be a similar style of composition where you have some setups, but you're also trying to outlast, right? And regardless of what position you're in, I think it's important to note that all style of comps are fun for different people in different ways, right? We're all biased, right? I'm biased, right? We, we all have biases. I'm biased towards one, I'm a streamer. I want the game to do well. First and foremost, I want most people to have fun. More than my class doing well, I want the game to be thriving because I'm a streamer, right? That's, that's where my primary bias lies. My secondary bias lies with I really enjoy setup comps. I think they're incredibly fun to play. Having said that, I personally have played dampener style comps to rank one more than setup style comps, fun fact. So I've played a lot of dampener style comps, I've played a lot of setup style comps. I have not played that many cleave style comps throughout history. I've played a lot of hybrid comps as well to rank one. Um, so I, I've played a lot of different styles of comps at the highest level and I, and I think they're very fun in their own ways. However, I think setup style comps are my favorite style of play. Now let's get into it a little more, right? Currently in the game, so patch 10.5, uh, 0.5, 10.0.5, before this patch comes in, we are seeing a severe lack of setup style comps where you cross CC and burst to win games. A severe lack of setup style comps, right? We see a lot of cleaves, if you so low rating medium rating high rating awc solo shuffle we see a lot of cleave style comps where you do it maximum possible damage you try to stay alive and you just crush someone we see a lot of of caster cleaves where your goal is to hit everything and not die right we're seeing a severe lack of setup style comps that low rating rogue mage if you look at the statistics in 2v2 we don't see almost any mages on the ladder or rogues, right? Um, playing rogue mage, sorry. Rogues are very, very good, but playing with a priest. If you look at the AWC, the top end, the bottom end um, of things, we're not seeing many RMPs, thug cleaves, etc. do well. We've seen some, some rise to the occasion, but it's some outstanding players making it kind of happen. But for the majority of the AWC, we, are, we have not been seeing these style of comps do very well. Having said that, I do want to say that Waz and Raikou did just win the European AWC as RMP. Having said that, they really, really struggled to get there over and over and over again. And the way in which they played RMP and similar to Cubsy, Cubsy's RMP, um, RMD on North America, they aren't really playing it with a setup style. They are cleaving, doing damage to everything with a severe lack of CC. So let's get into back to this chart. Currently in the metagame, whether you're talking about solo shuffle, 3v3, high rated, low rated, medium rated, whatever it is, you don't see too many people going for long CC chains. You don't see druids casting cyclone. You don't see mages casting polymorph. In the AWC, we saw Cubsy literally win without casting a single Polymorph. And once again, I want to say Cubsy is an outstanding player. I'm a huge Cubsy fan. But it might just beg the question, why is he playing defensively and not casting Polymorph, right? I recently hit rank one solo shuffle player in the world. Rank one mage uh, in the world, whatever. I didn't cast a single Polymorph to get there. Once again, that might beg the question why are we not seeing polymorph being casted the top restoration druids in solo shuffle the top restoration druids 
in threes are not casting Cyclones. That once again, then I beg the question, why are they not casting Cyclone? What is going on here? One of the players that I respect the most in the game is Snuts. The reason why I respect Snuts so much is because he has played to a tournament level on multiple classes in multiple expansions, playing multiple different styles of comps. He's played setup comps, he's played dampener comps, and he's played cleave comps, and he's played hybrid comps throughout multiple expansions. This guy is so good, but not only that, he, it's not like he only plays setup comps, it's not like he only plays RMP, and it's not like he only plays dampening style comps. So, to me, Snuts has a great opinion, because he doesn't want just one style of play, he wants all of them, and ultimately, I think in a healthy metagame, we have a variety of styles of comps in the metagame. Some tweets from Snuts. Been really enjoying Dragonflight, but classes are starting to feel homogenized. Feels like melee classes have become impossible to kite and some casters are straight up tanks soaking damage. Don't even know where I would start to fix this issue. What Snuts is getting at here is that the objective currently in the current patch for all styles of comps is to max DPS, kind of like a Mythic Plus style of gameplay, right? And you do as much damage as possible, and you're gonna kill with like micro CCs. All right. Another tweet. Permanent 15% relentless needs to be looked at. I think this is going to continue to make the game feel more PVE based and less about setting up kills. Yes. That is exactly why, if we go back to this, we are seeing no polymorphs. No Cyclones, no CC Chains. Now, I, I want to quickly take a, a, a step back. I do want to nod and just say that I think Micro CCs could potentially be a problem. And looking at specific Micro CCs and removing a, bun uh, a couple of them could help the health of the game. But removing all duration on casted CCs like Cyclone, Polymorph, it doesn't make a lot of sense because they're already not worth casting. If we have a metagame where people are just being CC'd poly, 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 clone, 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 poly, poly, kind of like maybe Mr. Pandaria, and we want to have the discussion, okay, maybe CCs are too long, let's drag them back this way, I think that's okay. That's a, that's a fine discussion to have. But we're not seeing that. We're seeing the opposite. In tournament play, in solo shuffle, low rated, medium, all across the board, we're seeing people opt to not go for polymorphs, not go for CC chains, because it's not inherently valuable enough to stop doing damage, to heal your target with the polymorph, to remove the debuffs, to stop the cleave pressure. So instead, what we're seeing is people just opting for more AoE, more damage, and less CC. Now, in a metagame where only damage matters, we could think about buffing CC, right? We could think about adding duration to CC so that CC chains are more rewarded, meaning more setup comps come into the metagame. So once again, I think a healthy metagame should be a variety of setup comps Dampener style comps, cleave comps, and hybrid comps. I think a variety of all of these comps is fun to play against. And I'll be the first to say that if there's too many setup comps, like it's just all RMP, that's not fun. You know, I mean, I, I, I personally would, would maybe enjoy it, but that's not fun for everyone. And what you really want for a thriving game is, is everyone having fun, a variety of people having fun. And to do that, like back in, back in Wrath of the Lich King, you saw a ton of RMP. But you also saw a ton of LSD, and you also saw a ton of TSG. And they were all strong, uniquely in their own way, with unique win conditions. Now the problem with a blanket change like this, with reducing CC across the board, is that we're moving back towards the closer, the closer image of CC not mattering as much, CC chains not mattering as much, cross CC not mattering as much. And when Polymorph is already not worth casting at 6.8, and you start nerfing it even more, 
the use case for polymorph becomes smaller and smaller and smaller to where cleave damage becomes more and more important. And it really just becomes Mythic Plus Arenas, PvE style gameplay, maximum damage. Now, once again, I want to be very clear. I want the game to thrive. The reason I'm making this video is because I want the majority of people to be excited about playing World of Warcraft. Once again, I'm biased because I'm a streamer. I want the game just to do well so that I have a fun, exciting game to stream. I can make fun, exciting clips. I can make fun, exciting content, right? And I think that this change is a step in the wrong direction. And that is the only reason I'm making this video is just to, to explain why I think this change is bringing us further from where we need to go. Personally, in a metagame where we're seeing all comps win in the same way, even RMP right now, the way um, Cubsy's RMD won the AWC was just by maxing DPS, playing back, not pushing in, not going for CC chains at all, even with a Druid and with a Mage. They're not cloning, they're not pulling, they're playing back and they're waiting, they're, they're playing RMP like a dampener style comp. Once again, no hate towards, no, towards Cubsy's team. I'm a huge fan. They played incredible. But the setup style comp of RMP is currently pretty much dead in the water. We're not seeing setup style comps thrive right now because of the 15% CC reduction in the game. That's why players like Snuts are saying it really needs to be looked at. I think we could start moving back in this other direction, right? We start, we need to start, we need to start having multiple win conditions, not just maximizing the DPS, but by allowing cross CC to win games like it used to. And right now we're not seeing that. So why is this problematic? Well, I mean, to, to put it bluntly, we're moving back towards CC mattering even less. Right, Cyclones casted less, Polys casted less, and it's going to be more about who's going to do more damage. Now, at the end of the day, if this change goes through, it won't be the end of the world, right? Like, I'll probably still play. I think a lot of people will still play. Um, I think it's going to... The outcome is going to be homogenized gameplay. The outcome is going to be you, you win games by a bunch of blizzards, orbs, ring of fires, AoE cleave, lance, lance. Every team is going to try to just do most cleave max pressure. DPS and HPS are going to be the primary two factors to win the game. CC chains might be more of a thing of the past. Once again, I think in a balanced metagame, we have some comps like that, but other comps that, that have a different win condition. And that variety of gameplay is the spice of WoW PvP. And removing one... I don't, I don't necessarily know if that is the right answer. In fact, I think if we move towards a style of gameplay, it, it'll be fine. I'll still be able to you know, play comps up to rank one and just do the, do the same type of thing. It's just going to be significantly more boring. I think players at a low level um, are going to find that the micro CCs are still going to be just as annoying, right? But what really is going to matter is the max DPS. So if we do want to have the conversation of there's a little too much CC in the game, I think the conversation to have is, okay, should we maybe remove like Infernal Stun? Like do, do Warlocks need like five, six, seven different types of CC? Do, do Rogues need Gouge? We added back Gouge. Like I, I play a Rogue myself. I have a lot of Rogue friends. Obviously, I love playing RMP um, as well as a lot of other comps. But maybe we, we take gouge away or experiment with taking infernal stun away um right maybe we even experiment with, with i'm trying to think with mage i mean you really only have like poly um and dragon's breath w experiment taking blast wave away as much as i like blast wave if you want to remove ccs maybe take away ice nova that two second freeze maybe get instead of two frost nova charges give them one right you can start taking away ccs i'm okay with removing those micro ccs I, I think there's merit to the argument that there's too many micro CCs in the game and that CC chains though, CC chains though are not being used in solo shuffle at max rating, at low rating, medium rating, any rating we are not seeing currently cross CC and CC chains being effective, an effective way to win the game.
So that is a clear indication that CC is casted CC is not as strong as it should be currently, meaning that 15% should probably be removed. But if there's too many micro CCs in the game, right, that can certainly be a conversation. But I want to be clear that I do not believe the current change that we saw on the 10.1 patch notes is going to push us in the right direction. Instead, it's going to push us in the wrong direction. Once again, I make this video because I want WoW PvP to be the best it can be because I'm a streamer. I want to have fun playing the game. I want to create exciting content. I want to do crazy stuff on the stream and have a great time. And I really think this change is pushing us to a Mythic Plus style PvE max damage style of play and pigeonholing you into having to play in that way because CC chains now when you get a poly, it's like, okay, the poly's already halfway over. I have to recast another poly. You'll never have enough damage to kill. Instead, we're going to kill with mortal strike effects, a blink CS, maybe just a, an off cheap shot, just micro CCs on the healer while maximizing DPS. Once again, no hate towards that style of play. That's kind of what cleave style comps do. I just think there should be a variety of win conditions in the game and not have every style of composition homogenized to winning in the same exact way. And I do want to once again point out that if there's too many setup comps in the game, then that could be looked at, but we're not seeing that. If there's too many dampening style comps, we could also look at that. If there's too many cleaves, we could also look at that. But a perfect metagame would be a nice balance and variety of these compositions so they can all thrive in their own ways. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with a friend. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty concerned with the direction that this specific patch note is going. I want the best for the game. I, I'll probably play either way, but I, I want to have the most possible fun and I want everyone else to have the most possible fun in this game. And I don't think this change is going to be doing that.